Hi class, welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to graph a hyperbola. So let's have this example. Find the coordinates of the foci and vertices and the endpoints of the transverse axis, conjugate axis, and the lattice rectum for a parabola whose center is at 0, 0, then draw the hyperbola. So ang given natin dito guys, we have... 9y square minus 16x square minus 144 equals 0. So, ang first step natin dito guys is we need to rewrite this equation to standard form. Okay? So, para ma-rewrite natin yan, lipat natin yung constant. So, we have 9y square minus 16x square equals 144. The next is dapat yung nasa right side natin is equals to 1. So, we need to divide all terms by 144. Okay? So, maka-cancel to. So, we have 1. Then, simplify lang natin yung 9 over 144. So, maka-cancel yan. This is 1. Then, this is 16. Then, 16 maka-cancel din. This is 1 and this is 9. Tama? So, pag nire-write na natin yung ating equation, we have 1 times y square, which is y square over 16, minus 1 times x square, which is x square over 9, equals 1. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating standard form. So, next is, i-check naman natin kung ano ba yung form or ano ba yung pattern ng ating standard form. So, as you can see, ang may negative is yung x square, so, which follows the formula y square over a square minus x square over b square equals 1. So, meaning, yung ating hyperbola is opens um, vertically. Okay? Yung may naka-upward and downward. So, next is pwede na natin ma-solve ma yung ating value ng A, B, and C. So, unahin natin si A. So, ang A square natin dito, we have 16. So, pag in-square root natin yung both side, guys, we have A equals 4. Next is yung ating B square, which is equals to 9. Then, pag in-square root natin both side, ang B natin is equal to 3. Okay, so, after natin makuha si A and B, solve naman natin ngayon si C. Using the formula, C square equals A square plus B square. Okay, so, ang C square natin, we have A square which is 16 plus B square which is 9. So, ang C square natin is equal to 25. Then, pag in-square root natin both side of the equation, ang C natin is equal to 5. So, ngayon, pwede na natin ma-identify yung different parts ng ating hyperbola. So, unahin na natin si foci. So, since ang ating hyperbola is opens uh, vertically, so, ang formula ng foci natin is 0, positive negative C. Okay, so ang C natin is equals to 5. So that is 0, 5, and 0, negative 5. Okay, then for the vertices naman, ang formula ng ating vertices is 0, positive, negative A. Which is A equals 4, so that is 0, 4, and 0, negative 4. Okay. Next is yung ating endpoints ng transverse axis. So, alam naman natin na yung endpoints ng ating transverse axis is same lang ng ating vertices, which is 0, neg positive negative 8. So, that is 0, 4 and 0, negative 4. Okay? Next is the endpoints ng ating conjugate axis. So, ang formula ng ating endpoints for conjugate axis is positive negative B 
0. So, ang B natin is 3. So, that is 3, comma 0 and negative 3, comma 0. Okay? Next is the endpoints ng ating uh, latus rectum. So, may apat tayong endpoints ng latus rectum since dalawang pares yun. Ang formula natin is positive negative B square over A negative C. Then, we have positive negative B square over A then C. Okay? So, solve natin yan. We have positive negative B square. Ang B square natin is equal to 9. So, that is 9 over A, which is 4. Comma, negative C. Ang C natin is equal to 5. So, we have negative 5. Okay? So, ang unang pares ng ating uh, latus rectum, we have 9 over 4, negative 5. And negative 9 over 4, negative 5. Okay? So, same lang guys yung ating um, ordinate, ah, yung ating first coordinate, no? which is uh, positive negative B square over 8, over A. So, that is 9 over 4. Then, this time, magiging positive lang yung C, which is 5. And negative 9 over 4, and... 5. Okay? So, ngayon, after natin makumpleto yung different parts ng ating hyperbola, pwede na natin ngayon yan i-sketch dito sa ating uh, Cartesian plane. Okay? So, una yung ating center na makikita kay 0, 0. Okay? So, ito yung ating center followed by yung ating foci which is 0, 5, and 0, negative 5. Ito yan. Okay, so since yung ating hyperbola is open uh, vertically, so nasa vertical, or nasa y axis yung ating foci and vertices. Then, ang vertex natin, we have 0, 4, and negative 4. So, ito yan. Ito yung v1 and v2. Okay, so, pag kinonect natin yung ating uh, two vertices, nandyan na yung ating magiging uh, transverse axis. Okay? Next is yung ating conjugate axis naman, which is 3, 0 and negative 3, 0. So, ito yan. So, ito yung ating magiging conjugate axis. Okay? So, last is yung ating endpoints ng latus rectum, which is 9 over 4. Ang 9 over 4, that is uh, approximately, this is 2.25. Okay? So, we have 2.25, then negative 5. So, nandito yan, 2.25, then negative 5. So, ito. Ito yung latus rectum. Then, negative 2.25 and 5. So, nandito yan sa may kabila. Okay? So, next is yung uh, sa may bandang taas naman, which is 2.25 and 5. Ito yan. And, negative 2.25 and 5. Okay? So, may dalawa tayong pares ng latus rectum. Okay? So, next is, kunin naman natin or i-sketch na natin yung ating asymptotes. Okay? So, para magawa yun, guys, uh, gawa tayo ng imaginary rectangle connecting all the endpoints ng ating uh, conjugate and transverse axis. Okay? So, gagawa na kayo ng imaginary rectangle. Then, co-connect nyo, guys, yung kanilang uh, mga kanto para ma-sketch yung ating asymptotes. Okay? So, ito yung two diagonal lines. Again, these two diagonal lines are the asymptotes ng ating um, hyperbola. Okay? So, pwede na natin i-sketch yung ating hyperbola, guys. So, start tayo ngayon dun sa ating 
Uh, vertex going to the latus rectum. Ito yan. Ayan. Okay, then sa may baba naman. Ayan. So, ito na yung ating uh, sketch ng hyperbola. So, nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!